With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. In this problem, we have given that when a proton is released from rest in a room, it starts with an initial acceleration A0 towards west. Okay. When it is projected towards north with a speed V0, it moves with an initial acceleration 3A0 towards west. Again, so find the electric field and minimum possible magnetic field in the room. So consider this is the direction, this is north, this is south, this is east and this is west. And we are uh, releasing a proton. Proton is basically a positively charged particle, okay, which is released, which is released and which is at rest also. So as, as we know that at rest condition, at rest condition, the magnetic force will be zero because the magnetic force on the rest charge particle is zero by this formula fm equals to q v cross v so if v is zero then magnetic force will also be zero okay so we can say that uh, in that condition only electrostatic force will act on that proton okay and we have given that this particle starts to move towards west direction so this particle starts to move towards west so that uh, we can say that the electrostatic force will act in west direction and it means that the electric field also uh, in in the west direction itself okay because the electrostatic force will act on the positive charge in the direction of electric field and we have given that the charge particle if a charge particle has mass m then it has attained a acceleration a naught towards west okay so the acceleration of charge particle is a naught so electrostatic force can be given as m into a naught and this can be given as q into e and that will be equals to m into a naught and from here the magnitude of the electric field will be m a naught upon q okay and if we uh, want to find its direction so direction of electric field is towards direction of electric field is towards west okay now if we say uh, that the if we talk about the second situation second situation gives that when the project uh, when it is projected towards north okay with a speed v naught so if we are uh, we are projecting the charged particle proton with the speed v naught towards north uh, it moves with an initial acceleration 3a naught towards west so again this particle if this particle is throw, uh, thrown towards north with the speed v naught okay it is seen that this particle is moving towards north uh, towards west okay towards west with, west with acceleration 3a naught okay so now we can say that uh, if this charge particle has velocity then there will be electrostatic force and magnetic force both exist okay so consider the direction of electric field is already given as towards west okay now is the, if the particle will move towards west direction if the particle will move towards west direction then the direction of magnetic field will be uh, towards vertically downward direction so this will be vertically downward direction of magnetic field will be vertically downward direction so in that case the net force will be equals to sum of magnetic force plus electrostatic force by lorentz force okay so this is the basically lorentz force and we know that the mass of the charged particle is m and charge on the charged particle is q so net force can be given as m and acceleration given here is 3a naught will be equals to fm plus fe fe can be given as q into fe can be given as m into a naught m into a naught as here fe can be given as m into a naught okay so right now we can write it as 3 ma naught minus ma naught that is 2 ma naught will be equals to fm so fm can be given as q v cross b 
and as we say as we can see that v is v naught okay and v naught and v both are perpendicular to each other because uh, v naught is in uh, north direction and b is in vertical downward direction so this can be given as q v naught b sin 90 q v naught b sin 90 and sin 90 is equals to 1 so we can write it as 2 m a naught equals to q v naught into b and from here the magnitude of the b can be given as 2 m a naught upon q v naught okay so this is the magnitude of uh, magnetic field and if we talk about the direction this is in vertically vertically downward vertically downward direction vertically downward direction okay so that's the answer of this problem thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today